kids, it's Miss Kay again and today we are going to read about something that crawls. Do you have an idea about what it is? We're going to read about the very hungry caterpillar. I'm so excited, so let's do it. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you spot where the egg is? You're right, that's the egg. And what do you call this? This is the moon. Moon, you're right. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. What is this? This is the sun, you're right. It's the sun. Now, can you help Miss Kay spot where the tiny caterpillar is? <gasps> oh, there is our tiny caterpillar. Can you please say hi? Let's wave hi to our tiny caterpillar. Hi. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Let's do a big bite. Yum! But he was still hungry. How many apples did the caterpillar eat on Monday? One. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Nom! Nom! But he was still hungry. How many pears did the caterpillar eat on Tuesday? Let's count. One, two, two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Nom, nom, nom. But he was still hungry. How many plums did the caterpillar eat on Wednesday? Let's count. One, two, three. Show me number three using your fingers. Three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many strawberries did a caterpillar eat on Thursday? One, two, three, four. Can you please show number four? Four, that's right. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Nom, 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 nom. But he was still hungry. How many oranges did a caterpillar eat on Friday? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Show number five using your hand. Number five. This is number five. <gasps> oh, what is this? On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That's a lot of food, don't you think so? Can we count how many food did the caterpillar eat on Saturday? Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Show me number ten using your fingers. Ten, that's a lot of food. How many nom noms should we do? Let's do ten nom noms, okay? Nom 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 <laughs> That night he had a stomach ache. <sighs> my stomach is hurting, my stomach is hurting because I ate a lot of food. See? It's not good to eat a lot of food because your stomach might hurt. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Yay, our caterpillar feels much better now. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, Caterpillar! Ooh, do you still remember how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny? This is how our caterpillar looks like when it was tiny. But after eating a one nice green lip, now he is... 
big and he's also fat are you ready to see a big and fat caterpillar <gasps> let's count one two three one two three oh our caterpillar is so big and it's so fat Ooh, hi caterpillar can you please say hi to caterpillar hi caterpillar look how big and how fat our caterpillar is now Woo! hi caterpillar now let's see what's gonna happen to our big and fat caterpillar he built a small house called the cocoon around himself so this is our cocoon it starts with letter c and the sound of c is can you please say k, k, k? Okay. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole into the cocoon. Pushed his way out and. Poof, 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 poof. He was a beautiful butterfly. Look how colorful the butterfly is. Can we say hi, butterfly? Wave hi to the butterfly. Why, butterfly? So our caterpillar is no longer tiny and no longer small. Now he was a beautiful butterfly. And that's the story of the very hungry caterpillar. Yay, yay, yay! I enjoyed this story so much. Hi kids, it's time to learn with Miss Kay. Today we are going to read the story of The Mixed Up Chameleon. Let's start! The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. Do you know where the chameleon is? The chameleon is right there. It moved on to a brown tree and turned brownish. Then it rested on a red flower and turned reddish. When the chameleon moves slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish. You could hardly see it. What is the color of the leaf? Its color? Green. What about the flower? What is the color of the flower? Its color? Red. You're right. How about the color of this part of the tree? It is brown. And what is the color of the sand? It's yellow. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned sparkling green. What color is this? It's green. But when it was cold and hungry, it turned gray and dull. What color is this? It's color gray. Chameleon. Chameleon. This is a chameleon. When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes moved. Up, down, sideways, until it spotted a fly. Do you know where the fly is? <gasps> the fly is there! Fly, fly. Then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue shot out and caught the fly. That was its life. It was not very exciting. But one day, the chameleon saw a zoo. It had never seen so many beautiful animals. So we see these animals in the zoo. Do you know what animals these are? Let's find out. The chameleon thought, How small I am. How slow. How weak. I wish I could be big and white like a... We have a picture here. 
Do you know what animal this is? It's a polar bear! And the chameleon's wish came true. But was it happy? No. Do you know how a polar bear looks like? This is a polar bear. Polar bear. I wish I could be handsome like a... What animal is this? It's a... Flamingo. Flamingo. Let's see how a flamingo looks like in real life. This is a flamingo. Flamingo. So the chameleon became handsome like a flamingo. I wish I could be smart like a... What animal is that? A fox. This is a fox. Fox. This is a fox. Look at the chameleon. It's got a tail like a fox. I wish I could swim like a... What animal is this? This is a fish. Fish. This is a fish. Oh, look at the chameleon. It can swim like a fish now. I wish I could run like a... What animal is this? It's a deer. Deer. This is a deer. Look at the chameleon. It's like a deer now. I wish I could see things far away like a... What animal is this? A giraffe. This is a giraffe. A giraffe. The chameleon has a long neck like a giraffe. I wish I could hide in a shell like a... What animal is this? Like a turtle. So the chameleon has a shell like a turtle. This is a turtle. Turtle. I wish I could be strong like an... What animal is this? This is an... Elephant, you're right. Elephant. Elephant. This is an elephant. Now the chameleon has a head like an elephant. I wish I could be funny like a... What animal is this? Like a seal. Can you clap like a seal? This is a seal. Seal. I wish I could be like, what are these? These are people, yes. I wish I could be like people. Just then, a fly flew by. Can you spot where the fly is? The fly is there. The chameleon was very hungry. But the chameleon was very mixed up. It was a little of this and it was a little of that. And it couldn't catch a fly. Oh, the chameleon is really, really hungry now. I wish I could be myself. Then the chameleon's wish came true and it caught the fly. The end. And that's the story of the mixed up chameleon. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss Kay? Today we're going to learn about insects as we read the story of 
The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. Come on and let's join Miss Kay. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Can you spot where the cricket is? This is the cricket. Cricket. Can you say it? Cricket. This is the sun. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is the little cricket. Big cricket. Little cricket? Big cricket. Do you know how a cricket looks like in real life? This is a cricket. 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 Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is the locust. Locust. A locust looks like this. Locust. Say it one more time. Locust. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this? This is a praying mantis. Praying mantis. This is how a praying mantis looks like. Praying mantis. See that? Good day. Crunch a worm, munching its way out of an apple. Um, yum, 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 yum. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Where is the worm? Oh, the worm is there. It's munching its way out of an apple. This is how a fruit worm looks like. Worm. A worm. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a spittle bug. Spittle bug. A spittle bug looks like this. A spittle bug. Say it one more time. Spittle bug. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a cicada. Cicada. A cicada looks like this. Cicada. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What is this, kids? It's a bumblebee. Bumblebee. And a bumblebee looks like this. Bumblebee. Good evening, where the dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. This is a dragonfly. Dragonfly. This is how a dragonfly looks like. Dragonfly. Good night. Buzz the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. What are these? These are mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes makes a buzzing sound. A mosquito looks like this. Mosquito. 
a luna moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness this is a luna moth a luna moth a luna moth looks like this luna moth as the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance the cricket saw another cricket she too was a very quiet cricket then he rubbed his wings together one more time and this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard these two are both crickets so both of these insects are crickets they look like this crickets the end and that's the story of the very quiet cricket by eric carl oh wait i think the author has an important thing to tell us here let's read did you know that there are four thousand different kinds of crickets some live underground others above some live in shrubs or trees and some even live in water both male and female crickets can hear but only the male can make a sound wow so by rubbing his wings together he chirps some people say that it sounds like a song that's a great thing to know about crickets hi kids are you ready to learn with miss k today we're going to learn about animals and insects as we read the story of the grouchy ladybug by eric carl come on and join miss k the grouchy ladybug by eric carl it was night and some fireflies danced around the moon at five o'clock in the morning the sun came up a friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. There are three insects mentioned in this page. We have the firefly, ladybug, and aphids this is a firefly this is a ladybug and these are aphids now let's put them in our chart here let's start with the ladybug this is a ladybug ladybug that's the ladybug next firefly this is a firefly firefly next is aphid aphid this is a picture of an aphid see that those are aphids aphid let's continue with our story good morning said the friendly ladybug go away shouted the grouchy ladybug I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back it looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is a yellow jacket, a yellow jacket. 
Let's put the yellow jacket in our chart. Yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. At 7 o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is a stag beetle. Stag beetle. Let's put our stag beetle in the chart. Stag beetle. A stag beetle. At 8 o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is a praying mantis. Praying mantis. Let's put the praying mantis in the chart. Praying mantis. Praying mantis. At 9 o'clock, it almost flew off into a sparrow. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is a sparrow. A sparrow is a bird. Sparrow. Let's put the sparrow in the chart. Sparrow. Sparrow. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is a lobster. 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 Let's put the lobster here. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. What is this? It's a skunk. 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 This is a skunk. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. What is this? It's a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor is a type of snake. Boa constrictor. A boa constrictor is a type of snake. Let's put our boa constrictor here. At 1 o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. This is a hyena. Hyena. Hyena, hyena. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is a gorilla, 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 gorilla. Whoa! Can you still spot where the grouchy ladybug is? Can you point the grouchy ladybug using your finger? The grouchy ladybug is there! At 3 o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey you! Said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, 
said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is a rhinoceros. 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 Where is the grouchy ladybug? The grouchy ladybug is there. At 4 o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This is an elephant. 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 Where is the grouchy ladybug? The grouchy ladybug is there. It looks like a dot, right? At 5 o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Can you still see where the grouchy ladybug is? I can't find the grouchy ladybug. Oh, oh wait. The grouchy ladybug is there. The grouchy ladybug is right there. It's very, very small compared to the whale, right? At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! Wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Where is the grouchy ladybug? Let's see. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a BAM! A slap! that it flew across the sea and across the land. Whale, whale. Our picture is complete now. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end. And that's the story of The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. Remember kids, it's always good to share whatever you have with others because sharing is caring. Don't forget to ask your grown-ups to subscribe to our channel so you could hear more stories from Miss Kay soon. But for now, Miss Kay has to say bye. Bye kids!